guys, so saw the last video didn't go over the best. Um, we didn't blow up, so that's good, but the uh, top hat there issue is resolved. As yep, you saw. Our, buddy, our buddy Jake came and hooked us up and welded that sucker up for us, uh, so I got to take him for a ride in this thing. It no longer has a gaping hole, so that's great. Yep. Um, we just fired it up here, uh, not on video, probably cool though. Square body. Hi, guy. <laughs> Um, probably could have taken a video of, oh no wait, we did just take a video of it. Okay. Yep. So yes. We, You'll see the video of us, you know, mounting the tires off this thing now that it's here. And the trans shifted through all three gears, so I'm not sure what its deal was whenever we were out, you know, down in the Dells, but uh, now that it's back home, it's very happy. Um, as you saw in the, the video of the Dells, we had a little ratchet strap dealio there to, uh, yeah, kind of build that a little bit bigger so our clamp could get tighter on it. Um, all of this held, as you saw, or as you will see in this little clip here. Um, I think we're basically good. The only other thing is, is uh, we picked up a truck recently, um, be in some upcoming videos, that we yoinked the HEI distributor out of. Um, in the video, you can kind of see when Christian was doing the burnout, it, it was kind of breaking up a little bit, so... Uh, we want to get that thrown in there, get this points distributor out. Hopefully that fixes problems. If not, um, if not, we're just going to send it and forget that it's say, even a problem. So I'm, I'm not honestly really crazy concerned, but we have the part. So other than that, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She seems all right. She's still happy. The only so. thing I would like to do, Christian, looking at this, that spot that I marked that I wanted to clearance out there, it's kind of cutting into that uh, yeah, heat wrap we a should bit there. Probably nip that that'll be all right but uh this friday oh, yeah which is tomorrow. tomorrow so tomorrow there's a burnout is that a competition it's there's a burnout thing i wouldn't really so call it a competition it's more of a burnout show is it yeah okay kind of because I, I mean well the one that we just did down the dells that's just a burnout pit that's just go have fun and whatnot i thought this one was a competition but i could be wrong well this one could be i don't know i've never been to this one so so this one's over in eliva wisconsin not too far from us and it's not as exciting as the burnout pit was from what we're told this one's a little square pad you go up they chain you to a cinder block so you can't go anywhere and you burn them. so who cares we're gonna put on a show and yeah. burn some tires i love doing burnouts so yeah i'm excited but yeah, we got to do that tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to, you know, go through and check a bunch of stuff on this thing before we leave. Like I want to, you know, check motor mounts, make sure those are still tight. <laughs> um, and nut and bolt check the turbo kit itself because, you know, stuff does loosen up, especially after a fresh build. So. Oh, one thing that I wanted to point out, because I don't think we ever did. I don't know if you guys remember from one of the build episodes this drive shaft was like this much too long <laughs> and we literally put it in a vise and I took a hacksaw and cut it and we shortened it up and I just buzz welded it and it does not shake. Somehow. So. I don't know how, but it doesn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised nobody's acknowledged either how stupid that was or, not gonna lie, personally kind of impressed that it does not shake or fly through the floorboards, but um, yep. for how throwing together this has been uh, yeah, it works pretty good i'm i'm happy i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like i really want to lower the front end down if you guys can't tell in the video this thing sits way down in the behind like three inches well that and if you haven't watched the the prior video of the dells watch it and you can see in the picture is the thumbnail it body rolls so bad i mean like you go and it's like Turn. Yeah, yeah, this thing's got some <laughs> mad body roll, so Maybe. I don't know. Lowering it really isn't gonna solve that on this because we're whipping it around. But right. uh, if we had some big old sway bars, we could throw on it and try and stable this thing out because she's a boat. Or if we just heat the springs so there's less spring to them, <laughs> well, it'll still lift the other side, yeah. But I mean, right now, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think it would sack as much because right now a lot of it's just that one side really just sitting. Yeah. It takes nothing to freaking. Yes, yeah, so we did that burnout and then one other right after. And she's sitting at a nice 190 degrees. I never even turned the fan on. This thing's mint.
So it's Friday, it's the day of the burnout competition with the uh, fire chief here. We figured out our fuel issue it was actually because we had vacuum going to our um, fuel pressure regulator and it essentially is a boost reference fuel pressure regulator so it eventually just worked backwards and since it had vacuum at you know low throttle thing just flooded or uh, you know ended up not having any fuel. So. What Jordan's doing over here is he is drilling and tapping the carb hat because there will not be any vacuum on that, only boost pressure. So we should have good fuel pressure then and shouldn't have any issues. But uh, we're crossing our fingers on that. We do gotta go run it up and down the road and we are also trying to run this thing in the, um, what's it called? Street yeah, street legal class. So we can't have the exhaust coming through the hood. So we are currently rerouting it down and out the side. I'll show you guys that. Okay, so the exhaust here now comes out, tucks down and through there, and it's gonna go whoop, down there. Now the wastegate is still gonna peek through the hood, but I don't think they're gonna have a big issue with that. Um, and then the exhaust is gonna whoosh, come down right there. So, heck yeah. Um, like I said, we've got the fuel pressure issue, I think, figured out completely. So we're gonna finagle that, get it all hooked up, and should be good. Yeah, Jordan, you think so? Sure. Yeah. We're hopeful. We're on our way. Yeah, super fat. We're on our way down to the uh, the burnout thing. Competition. This was actually a contest. Yeah. So we fixed the fuel pressure regulator thing. The exhaust is done. It's uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dog, it's fine. You don't need a shirt. <laughs> Give everybody a <free> show. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan's taking us to the gun show, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we spun it up and down the road. And, uh, still breaks up a little bit. But we're gonna send it anyway. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. So, we'll see you guys there. Yeah. Just got here. So we're here. Um, starts here in, I think, like, 30 minutes or something. So we have to go up, register figure out where we're supposed to be. Um, we really don't see anything that looks too crazy other than... There's a couple of cars that look pretty good, but as you see, our exhaust is now here. So this is meant. I got my fuel pressure <laughs> gauge through the hood and mounted securely to the windshield, like it should be, but yeah, I kind of give you a little view of some of the stuff that's here. So I don't know if we said... So this one has five classes. Um, there's a stock, like Christian mentioned, or not stock, uh, street legal, which is what we're trying hoping to, to put this in. in. Um, open class, there's two truck classes, which I didn't ask what they were because didn't really bother us. Gas and diesel. Those are the well, two. There's been six classes because they said there's a powder puff class and there's a uh, bikes and like four wheelers and stuff. So yep. I'm kind of interested to see that one. But from what we were told, this is a 20 second deal. They put a rope around your wrist, they give you a little tug when you stop go over but then you're disqualified um, I really want to go over but kind of want to actually try to do a competition because we haven't done it so true that's kind of the rundown but yeah we're gonna go up here register and then uh, figure out what we're doing you can sure raise one, one. <laughs>
hands down the biggest club. Give it over to Haley. <laughs> So we, they, they only let us blow one of the tires. They told me to quit. So Sucks. yeah, I don't know. It was a lot of fun. The car did break up a lot, and then it almost died. Just jammed it back down at first and stood in it, and it came out of it. So it was a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go indulge in some frosty beverages and uh, libations. Yes, and uh, get this thing ready for the next one. Thanks, guys. See you later. <laughs> 